Welcome back. Denosa has withdrawn its members from the Ramakonopi Community Health Center in Katlehong, east of Johannesburg, due to safety concerns there. The union says a midwife at the center was physically assaulted by relatives of a patient during a delivery. Let's get to the latest on the story now. We're joined by Denosa's Gauteng chairperson, Simpiwe Gada. Thanks very much, sir, for coming into studio. Thank you for having us. Yes. I mean, this is not the first time this has happened, is it? This issue that happened over the weekend, the midwife being assaulted, uh, our reporter certainly telling us that there have been previous cases as well. Well, uh, Ramkunup is a hot spot for such events. Uh, that is why we had to take a drastic decision, which regrettably, you know, disadvantages the community because for us, this was the final straw. We had to withdraw our members uh, from uh, the service. Tell us about some of the other challenges that your members have faced. Well, uh, I think uh, throughout the province, um, there's been a spate of attacks uh, to, on health workers. Uh, but Ekurleni tops the list uh, in, 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 in terms of this uh, spate of attacks. In Ramukunupi in particular, we've had, uh, I think, more than four, more than five now of these uh, uh, you know, attacks on health workers. And uh, the demands that we placed on the table uh, are not the first time that we place such demands. So that is why we took a decision that uh, much as we appreciate that the type of service that our members are rendering, it's a service that involves uh, human rights, but at the same time, at what point do you distinguish, do you stop and say that the rights of health workers are important as well, and their safety, because how do you render effective quality health care if then you are rendering that under fear? Uh, so that is why we took a decision, we went out there on the weekend, and uh, what is shocking to us is that the security personnel that were on duty just stood and watched as this incident was happening. So, so that is why we took a decision to say that it seems as if uh, our people are not protected, and and that is why we've been calling uh, to say that this issue of outsourcing security for us is, uh, is, is of real concern. And we think that government has to move towards insourcing because uh, when you talk to these security personnel and you ask them why do you not intervene, they tell you that they don't have tools of trade to actually deal with situations such as that. The only thing that they have is a pen. Mr. Gado, what is behind this animosity between the community and healthcare workers? It, it seems incredibly misplaced. Yes. Well, uh, I, I think that uh, up until we, like in this case, we've opened up a case and we're going to follow up that case, we believe that the family is actually bearing the, that uh, stillborn uh, today. And after that, as a union, we're going to follow uh, through to with the police that the person, the perpetrator, must be arrested and uh, uh, something must happen because we think that in this instance that our law enforcement agencies, the justice system, has not been taking up this issue and of the view that uh, just like we have what we call the, the register of sexual offenders. We think that there must be a register for all those that are attacking health workers because these people are rendering quite an important uh, service to our people. So, so the midwife who was assaulted, mm -hmm. she was tending to a case where uh, someone was in labor and that labor resulted in, in a stillbirth. Well, uh, yes, uh, she, it's a midwife that was attending to this patient and uh, unfortunately, the, the, but, but I must put it on, on record that, uh, you know, a, a, a still path, uh, it, 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 it would, well, this must, there must be an investigation that happens. But I must place it that myself as a professional, uh, a stillborn does not just happen, you know, uh, uh, moments before you are in labor, hours before you are in labor, you should be able to feel your baby move and uh, all those things. So in this case, I think the mother as well has to be interviewed and we have to get to the bottom of what happened because a stillborn cannot just be, uh, you know, cannot just happen. And I mean, uh, Ramkunupi has been attending to many cases and many children have been born in that uh, uh, health center. So it sounds like what people who are receiving services at that clinic, what they believe is that they are receiving subpar health care. And well, that's resulting in this animosity between... Well, uh, the issues of staff shortage in the facility is something that we have always raised, where you find that uh, one midwife will be attending to about five people at, at a time, and that's not supposed to be the case. Uh, these issues, the department knows them, the staff have spoken to us, we have raised them with the department, and we have raised uh, quite a number of issues to say some of the services, for instance, that are listed uh, on the board outside the facility are not available. So. I think that the Department of Health itself must be able to self-correct and be truthful
useful to the community and actually tell the community what type of services are rendered at the facility and make the necessary skilled personnel mm -hmm. to render those services. And uh, the community must understand in this regard that uh, the job of managing a health facility is not only reliant on nurses, but it is a collective responsibility. And in cases where there is a shortage, like in this case, there is a shortage of staff, that should not be something that is raised by the unions as well. We want community to get involved. However, we have already, you know, through our engagements with the department, we are agreeing that a, a security summit in that area is necessary, where civic organization gets involved, the community, uh, the, 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 the government in the city must also get involved. Let's mobilize community. Let's have a dialogue so that communities, because we believe that their anger is misplaced. I mean, nurses do not, uh, if there's a shortage of equipment, medicines, those are not things that nurses are responsible for. Nurses are just responsible uh, to render the quality uh, care service that they should, that they are trained to do. And if there's unavailability of medicine, there's uh, shortages of staff, those are not things that nurses are responsible for. Those are things that government has to correct. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, hopefully that, that these issues can be resolved so that those nurses can go back to work. Thank you. For well, uh, yes, they, we, we are engaging the them. The final comment before yes, we let you Yes, we, we are uh, engaging them, but it must not be look like as if it's automatic. Yeah. These people have been uh, exposed to trauma, so counselling has to be offered for them to go back to work. But at the same time, we must not make the mistake of clapping hands for government because they've corrected these things. I mean, uh, they were, these things were supposed to be in place before the incident happened. It shouldn't take such incidents for them to correct things. So we cannot be clapping hands, but we do appreciate that at least our people's safety is being uh, taken into consideration. Uh, thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks very much for coming into thank studio. Denosa's Gauteng Chairperson, Simpia Wegada, joining us there in studio. Uh, those members, those nursing members uh, being withdrawn from the Ramakonopi Community Healthcare Center in Katlehong, uh, there are safety concerns at that community healthcare center.